Sage, a defensive expert and the only main healer in Valorant right now. Sage has a very important skill set and due to her healing prowess, she will always be a very popular choice in the Valorant meta. In this video I will show you her abilities and how to use them and how to maximize her skill set to get as many wins as possible. Let's start with her abilities. Q, Slow Orb. The Slow Orb, a pretty unique area controlling ability. By clicking Q, Sage grabs her Slow Orb and with the left mouse button you can throw it to wherever you want to. The Slow Orb detonates and turns the floor into a crystal like substance. Everyone that walks on it will be slowed and you will be able to hear them very well even if you are slow walking. So if you play against Sage, I advise you not to walk on it at all. This ability is used to hold different choke points on the map and you can use it as soon as you can to protect yourself from a flank. A great tip is, whenever a team is hard pushing a specific route, you can throw the slow orb on them and slow the push a little bit. This will give you and your team some extra time to rotate properly and counter their push. Remember that it is not only effective on the enemy team, but you and your team will also be slowed as well. The slowed area will disappear after 10 seconds, so timing can be crucial as well. You can bounce the slow orb off walls, so practice on different maps to put it where you want it. The ability costs 100 and you can carry 2 each round. Before we continue, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and let's continue. E. Healing Orb The Healing Orb a versatile healing tool that can be used for you and or your teammates. You use the healing orb by pushing the E button and choosing if you want to heal yourself or your teammate. By left clicking you can heal the teammate you are looking at and by right clicking you heal yourself. It heals you or your teammate up to full health. Sage can see her teammates health bars and they need them so keep that in mind. After healing someone the healing orb goes on a 35 second cooldown and after that you can use it again. This ability is so strong and makes it super important for any Sage player to stay alive as long as you can. The longer you are alive, the more you can support your team. This doesn't mean staying behind and not helping in fights. This is your basic ability and you do not need to buy it each round. C. Barrier Orb The Barrier Orb is the only wall in Valorant you cannot walk through. And it is such a versatile ability for multiple purposes. You activate the wall by pressing C. Sage will summon an orb and show you where you can place the wall. You have 100% control of how and where you want to place it. When you hold the right mouse button and move your mouse to the left or right, you can rotate the wall manually. If you want to switch it between vertical or horizontal, just press the C button. After you decided where you want to place the wall, press the left mouse button to confirm and the barrier wall will appear from the ground. This wall lasts for about 30 seconds. The wall can be destroyed by people shooting it or knifing it. But to be fair, it takes quite some damage to destroy. One of the other great things about this barrier is that you can use it to get yourself in a different spot on the map. Just simply place a wall whenever you are right on top of it. Now you are on top of the wall and you might have a good vantage point on the enemy team. You can do this to your teammates as well. Be creative with this ability and you will probably find some more spots where it's super useful. This ability costs 300 and you can only carry one each round. X. Resurrection. Sage's ultimate ability. The resurrection is one of the best ultimates in the game. By pressing X and looking at a dead teammate, you can resurrect someone. The teammate will spawn at the same spot it died with full health. Do not revive someone who is in a bad spot. The resurrection will have an animation and your teammate will be vulnerable. Use the ultimate in a round where you believe a resurrection will make a difference. Don't use it in a round where you're going to lose or win by a mile. This ultimate ability is activated after collecting 7 ult points. So after learning her abilities, how do you perfect Sage's skill set and get the most out of your games? Be defensive and remember you are the best supporting agent in Valorant. If there is someone you can heal, heal them. You get your heal orb back pretty fast. Also, try to be creative with your barrier orb to put you or your teammates in positions to attack or angle the enemy in a way they don't expect. Sage will be good on both attack and defense. Sage will always be a popular choice and whenever ranked comes around, I bet she will be on every team. If you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, it will help me out a lot and I will see you in the next video.